Welcome everybody. Today on Pressure Crisp, we're going to be doing the Smash Burger in the Ninja Foodie. This one goes out for Ed. He's a YouTube viewer that would like me to make this in the Ninja Foodie. I'm going to be using the 6.5 quart today. This could also be done in the 8 quart. So come on over and let's make this Smash Burger up. Gorgeous. So to start this recipe, I want to start preheating the cast iron pan that I'm going to be using. And what I like to do is put a nine inch silicone round in the bottom. You can use your enclosed trivet. We have to use it in the low position because if you flip it over, you have these little legs here and then my cast iron pan cannot fit on there. Or what you can also do is, if you have one of those accessory packs that you purchased on Amazon, and this came with it, this is actually much, much better to use because this cast iron pan sits right on top of there. It's closer to the heat source, so you're gonna get more heat on these burgers to brown them up. When it comes to a smash burger, you want maximum brownage. Now, I know when I did it in the Ninja Foodie Grill, people said it was, yeah, there was not, but you know something, to be honest with you, the comments weren't so nice, some of them. You know something, an example today. Right now we have 13 and a half inches of snow out in the yard. Yeah, I'm not going outside to griddle these on my griddle. Sorry. I mean, if you live in a warmer climate, stick with the outdoor griddle. It makes a superior smash burger than what you can make in the house. But a lot of people live in the cold and this is just, it's the second best thing. And you know something? We're making this in the Ninja Foodie and I'm sticking with it. So this is the best plan right there. But I wanna make this for people that just have the Ninja Foodie. If you do have this accessory, use it, but I'm not gonna use that today. So once again, nine inch silicone in the bottom. We're gonna use the trivet in the low position. We're gonna go ahead, place our cast right in there. You're gonna go ahead, lower the lid. You wanna make sure your Ninja Foodie is on. We're going to choose broil. It defaults to 10 minutes, but I'm gonna up this to 20 minutes. I want that cast iron to preheat at least 10 to 15 minutes. And we're just gonna hit start. The broil setting is the hottest setting on the Ninja Foodi 6.5 quart. I think it gets up to around 500 degrees. So that's a good thing. And the silicone round in the bottom is good up until 500 degrees. I'm gonna go over what you're gonna need to make these wonderful burgers. You're gonna need a spatula. I prefer a metal one, but I don't have a metal one small enough and that will flex enough that we can smash these burgers down. If anybody has a recommendation, please leave it in the comment section and I will purchase one just so I can make these great smash burgers. What I like to do, you're just gonna, for an example, you're gonna, when you put your burger on there, you're gonna put the spatula right on there and you're gonna smash it down with this handy dandy tool that I break my meat up with. But use whatever you have in the house. If you have like a heavier wooden spoon or just something that you can press onto the spatula to smash the burger down. You're also going to need, if you don't have a digital scale, I will show you the size of the meat, but usually with a smash burger, you want the burger to be 2.5 ounces. Also, guys, okay spend spend a little bit extra get yourself some brioche buns i'm not gonna lie i picked these up at aldi's they're wonderful 99 for four they freeze extremely well i've i have a bunch of these frozen in the freezer and they are great and yes you're going to need this lovely plastic cheese if you want it super cheesy add two slices of cheese if you don't want as much cheese on it only add one and just a little bit of salt and pepper, and that's all you're gonna need. Let me make these little uh, burger balls real fast. So what I like to do, turn your scale on, put a piece of parchment paper right there, and you can guesstimate how much you're gonna need. I mean, once you start making these, that's 2.2 .2 right there, so it's pretty close. 2.5, boom. And what I like to do, you do not wanna compact these like, don't make a snowball, okay? But basically, you're making a snowball right now, but don't press it really hard when you actually make a snowball. And just like that. 
and you're just going to set it off to the side. I'm just going to put it on here so I don't contaminate the kitchen counter. Once again, grab a hunk of that ground beef. And by the way, I'm using 80-20. 80-20 makes a nice, greasy burger. And you know, that's what a smash burger is all about. This one's 2.6. I'm fine with it. Smash burger is, it's just a unique kind of hamburger. And they are delicious. Deliciously greasy. You know, if you don't want the grease, don't make this hamburger. So the cast iron has been heating for right around 13 minutes. So what I'm going to do is pop the top. I'm going to take some avocado oil and just spray the cast iron. And yes, it's just going to smoke just a bit. I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. That's what you want to hear. Take your spatula and you want to smash this burger down and some grease will splatter. If you want, you can wear a pot holder or something like that. I'm going to take this second one and squish it down. Not squish, smash it down. And they're going to go together, which is fine. Because we just break them apart when we're going to plate them up a bit. This is working really, really good. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Go ahead and close the lid. So we still have six or seven minutes left on the timer. So we're going to let these cook. Once again, you want to stand by because these burgers are going to cook very, very, very quickly. So I'm just going to let it go for like a minute or two and we're going to flip them. Now it's been about like a minute and a half. We're going to go ahead, cut these guys in half and yes, it's sticking just a bit. And we're going to take our spatula and this is where a metal spatula will come in so much better. This plastic one just isn't doing its job. But you know something? Like I always say, use what you have in the house and go with it. Now, unfortunately, I'm letting so much heat out of this. And flip. Now I close the lid. As you can tell, this is not a true smash burger. We're not getting that brown crispiness on these burgers. And to be honest with you, you're not going to achieve that in the Ninja Foodie. But it still makes a pretty good burger. It really, really does. Because it doesn't get hot enough, so actually the meat is actually steaming, which we really don't want. Um, I was hoping the cast would help with that, but it, we just don't have enough heat. Just about a minute has gone by. And yeah, we're just not just not getting that heat. And you're going to go ahead and just put your cheese on these burgers. You're also going to just pop your roll in there. You want a nice warm roll. We're going to let this cook for probably just between 30 seconds and one minute. We just want that cheese melted. So about 30 seconds has gone by. I am going to take the roll out. So I want the roll warm, but I really don't want it toasted. Once again, use a pair of tongs because you might burn yourself. So a full minute has gone by. And yeah, these are done. Let's take them out. There we go. And don't forget to shut your Ninja Foodi off. And there we go. We're going to put the bun, the roll, right on top. Tell me that's not a gorgeous burger. Gorgeous. Taste test time on a... Smash, taste test time on a smash burger in your Ninja Foodie. Just as good as the other one. Now look, can you see that? Look at that greasy goodness. Let's take a bite of this. Gotta grab it here. Excuse me. Very, very good. This is excellent. This is the best thing you're going to get out of your Ninja Foodie, unless somebody comes up with a better way. So challenge people, challenge. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe and hit the notifications button. Once again, I appreciate all my viewers and stay tuned for more Ninja Foodie and Ninja Foodie Grill videos. Thank you so much.